So for recon, I wanted to bring in some friends of mine who know bars, Jim and Sam. The two of the biggest stars on Sirius Radio. These guys have millions of followers. They'll give us a great evaluation of this bar. How you guys doing? Good. What are you guys drinking? Bloody Mary. Not a problem, absolutely. Do you have like an amberback? Uh, yes. That would be great. On draft? And well, water, that's yeah. That's all I have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that works. Good? Great, man. Look at the size of that glass for Bloody Mary. That's gonna hold about two and a half ounces of Bloody Mary mix. Typically, that would be in a taller glass. This is burning my throat. This is awful. No. Okay, here we have a beer. Oh, yeah, nice. Rub it off with your finger. Built-in windshield wiper. Oh. Oh, I remember. Is it usually flat? I got you. Once you get a few drinks in you, anything tastes fun. Maybe that should be the strategy coming here. You slam yeah. a few down as soon as you get here, then everything's fine. Doreen is sitting on the other side of the bar, oblivious to the fact that her business is going down the tubes right before her eyes, and she doesn't even know it. Yeah, let me get a classic burger. How do you want it cooked? Uh, medium. So we'll try the Reuben, and then let's also get the beef on wet. So their food order is in. I'm going to time this. I want to see how long this takes. OK, here we go. Those are doggy walking bags. The poopa scoopa bags. It looks that way. But they're certainly not food service bags. Should the sauerkraut look like a hash brown? So obviously that brown is what was cooked on there a 100 times before that in that spot. You got all kinds of stuff in that sauerkraut. How long does the food usually take? So there's nothing up in the window yet. No. So right now, Al, how far are we in? We're at 16 minutes and 51 seconds, John. Food should have been out four minutes ago. I'm sure the food will be here shortly. Look at that dirty crowd again. Oh! <laughs> Would you eat that, Al? <laughs> no. Look at the color of that. 29 minutes, Vic, and they still don't have the same order. That's ballistic. OK, here we go. Thank you, Vic. Thank you very much. How is it? I don't love it. It's not easy to handle. What is that? <laughs> That's that mushy oh Reuben, man. Oh my God, look, look at how shiny my hand is. Yeah, that's just grease. <laughs> I'm not trying to be difficult, but this tastes like well done. I asked for medium. Look at this. This is a complete failure, right? 28 minutes to get the food. It's either undercooked, overcooked, not seasoned properly, but it's not right. So they're not taking care of anything, but yet Doreen's life is going down the frickin' drain right now. And none of them are doing anything about it. Vic, until now. I'm gonna go in and get them doing something about it. Yeah. If, Lindsay, if they need me, oh my gosh. John came through the door and I was terrified. I thought he is going to find me out as being a loser. Doreen? I'm John. <laughs> I know who you are. You're in big trouble, aren't you? Okay, should we go talk? Okay, come on. I want you to meet a couple of friends of mine, OK? Thank Jim you. and Sam are dear friends of mine. They have one of the biggest shows on Sirius Radio. Share with Doreen, because she needs to know what you felt coming here. Why didn't you eat this? It just didn't taste fresh. I mean, Let this me is, see this. This is pretty bad. I watched him make this. The entire sandwich, look at this, is a complete mess. So the fact of the matter is, you guys came here, you tried to get a beer, that wouldn't work. You yeah, tried yeah. to get a burger, you tried to get a Reuben sandwich, nothing worked. This cannot happen. OK, let's go talk. It was horrible. I thought my food was decent, and it's not. I, I was afraid he was going to throw it on the floor. It, it, it belonged in the garbage. So your father opened this bar? Yes. And then you lost your dad when? November. Second, 2017. What did your father think about this? Did he want you to continue to run it? He wanted his legacy to go on, and he trusted me. How much are you losing a month? At least 5000 How much money do you have left? Mm -hmm. Get my money. What happens when it closes? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to have anything, John. This legacy means more to you than any bar, mm -hmm. doesn't it? <laughs> What would your father say to you if he was looking at you right now? He would tell me to be strong. Would he tell you to get angry? Yes. Would he tell you to stop letting people take advantage of you? Yes, he would. I looked at your numbers. Yeah. Your revenues are down 25%. 
They burned $90,000 worth of liquor in the past year. It's stolen, it's gone. Let's call them out. Let's create accountability here. Let's protect Frank's legacy. I want you to get angry. They're robbing you. And I need to see you take control of this bar and show some desire to make this work. You gonna get angry? I'm gonna get angry. Okay, get mad. Okay. Doreen seems ready to take back control of her business, but now I wanna see if she gets angry and aggressive and takes control of her staff. He sat here for a half an hour with a beer like that. You should have offered him something else to drink and taken this and dump it. I am freaking angry that they stole $92,000 worth of liquor from me in this year. My bartenders have given away $92,000 worth of my liquor. Don't you believe that. How's the liquor leaving here? It's leaving in your glasses because you're drinking for free. This is what it is. This is what my customers are. They have no respect for me whatsoever. None. I might as well throw people out of here. What do you think of that? Shut the f up or get out. How about that, honey? You're going to scream at me at my own bar? Yeah. What the f is going on? I'm not a f***ing chooch. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.